Hi friends, now we are going to talk about what are the different workflows that uh, that uh, that gets uh, that workflow log is written or workflow uh, uh, when a workflow gets triggered, some of the tables that gets written. This is very unique and this is very important because sometimes you have to create a report and all those things. How will you know? So I'm just giving a small example and I will not be doing anything. So here I'll just create a workflow. Okay. And what I did is let me start from scratch. I'm going to SWUS. Okay. SWUS and you give this workflow contain a workflow template number. Okay. And here I'll just give an invoice number. Okay. And this the invoice number. And here uh, what I'm going to do is I'll create two approvers since it's a dynamic approver. Okay, and this is a simple one. Okay, so I'll just do the next one. I'm just sorry. One, one, I think. Yep. And I'll just put this populate. And now you might say why you are doing all this. You'll see. So here we'll just click on execute. Okay. And the, the moment I execute, Will give me all this option i will do nothing here i will not do anything okay now what i'm going to do is here i'll go into go to memory consumption okay for well, the moment you go to memory consumption it will tell me what are the different workflows tables that it hit so these are the tables see uh, swp join and this is very neat, important things and here you can see what what entries they have written and all those things so when you build a report for sure you will be knowing this table you'll be knowing this table and other tables so that's why it's very important you see all these uh, and this table you can note it down and you can use it for building your reporting okay and uh, this is a very smart way of finding what are the different tables behind a workflow so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and have a good day